Hi, uh, today we're going to go through the OpenSRP to OpenLMIS uh, integration that was built as a proof of concept. OpenSRP is, this, is the Open Smart Register platform and this is an application that collects um, child immunization information and it also has the ability to collect the associated stock that's managed with give, giving child immunizations. What you're looking at here is an Android emulator with the OpenSRP app open. And what I'm going to show you today is just an overview of the integration with the Open Logistics Management Information System. Okay, so what we have here in OpenSRP is the primary uh, immunization screen where we will record child's immunization. And for this one, I'm going to demo the PCV1. So we click this and PCV1 was done today for this child. Okay, we don't need to record the weight. And I've done this for a few of the other children today. After we record the immunization, we can go to the stock control module of OpenSRP and we can say, uh, we can track how many children were immunized and how many vials were used on a particular date and time. So today um, is April 2nd, All right, and OpenSRP automatically tells us seven children were vaccinated today, uh, so we're assuming that four vials were used. And sure enough, four were used. Were any wasted? No. Okay. So we'll save that, and these are core features of OpenSRP. The new features that we built for the integration include the ability to request an order directly from the OpenSRP Android client and have that order uh, go up to the OpenSRP server which automatically calculates the reorder amount based on ideal stock amounts and pushes the order into the OpenLMIS log logistics management information system. So the new feature here is we just click a button alright and so now we've ordered uh, We've requested an order uh, on April 2nd, 2018, and I'm going to go ahead and sync that order. I'm going to sync the app so that it can quickly uh, push the order up to the server. Okay. And then in another window, I'm going to open up OpenLMIS. The order now is, is hard-coded uh, so that we can request an order go from this specific demo facility to the district um, store in Kwamba District in Mozambique. So what we're looking at here, um, I'm logged in as Devo1 right here uh, in the OpenLMIS testing server and sure enough uh, it just created an order. Okay, We'll view that order and what you can see here is that this order was calculated based on the ideal stock amounts. Okay, So I'll bring all three windows up here uh, together where you can see that for BCG I have an ideal stock amount of 77 and I've actually got 76 vials on hand so I only needed to order one uh, one vial of BCG and the order that was pushed to OpenLMIS uh, requests only one and as you go across uh, you can see the rota we have 342 the ideal stock amount is 846 and so it automatically does those calculations for us once the order is in OpenLMIS, uh, we walk through this, the process of fulfilling that order, and it's going to turn into a shipment. And this fulfillment process is based on the available stock on hand uh, that's at the district store. And so you can see here that I have 13, uh, 13 vials of BCG. I only ordered one, so I'll go ahead and push one over. All right. Uh, I ordered. 504 of rotavirus, so I'm going to fulfill that one. Okay. I ordered 210 of measles, but I don't have 210 on hand. I've got 35, so the stock manager at the district store needs to make a decision. In this case, let's just say that we'll send 15 units. Okay. And I'll continue 529. I've got a similar situation here, so I will send um, 300 and I'll continue filling out the form.
So the values that are filled out here are the fulfilled quantities. Okay. Once I confirm the shipment, uh, this shipment gets saved in OpenLMIS, and the OpenSRP server, through our integration tool, uh, automatically queries the shipments uh, from OpenLMIS on a regular schedule. Once it identifies that there's a new shipment, it does a match to see if that shipment that was just uh, shipped uh, has gone to uh, is is related to the order that we created. So we'll go here, and you can now see the one that I just fulfilled is stated as shipped. Okay, and we'll go back over to the OpenSRP app. And I expect we'll need to sync one more time. All right. And now you can see that order that was shipped from OpenLMIS, instead of saying ordered here, has now turned to shipped. So what's happened in the background is our integration tool identified that there was a new shipment available for one of the orders that we sent it queried the OpenLMIS system and then posted the order content to uh, Open OpenSRP server. When our Android tablet here synced, uh, it pulled down the latest shipment information and it's all here. So the quantity that we actually shipped is here. Okay. And um, the quantity that we ordered in the original order is also here. You can see those items where we didn't have enough stock on hand uh, we, we had to reduce the shipment. So this is the digital representation in OpenSRP of what we ordered from OpenLMIS and what was ultimately shipped. Now when I click the receive button it's going to apply the shipped quantities to my stock control module in OpenSRP to uh, increase uh, the stock on hand that I have available here on my tablet. So do I want to confirm the shipment? Um, and add it to my local stock control in, in OpenSRP. Alright, it has been confirmed and accepted and now we're going to go back and you'll see BCG now has 77 vials, um, Penta has 71, okay, PCV 362, Rhoda has 846 because that was fully supplied, etc. So that's it for the new feature.